No, I'm going to answer it. Yes. Yes. Ready, Lloyd? Never. OK, Very lovely. Um, I just wanted to say, because it's kind of a bit surreal, because I've only ever been to the NEC for a rock concert, and there's hundreds there's of people another one. streaming in. Mm. I, I just wonder, kind of, have you, have you got used to this year? I know you've done Earl's course, but have you, are you nervous? Are That's cool. No, not even slightly. It is very light. If you look at the lighting gantries up there, and when it all gets going and you get the smoke and the noise, and the lights all come down, we sit and think, it is like a rock concert, except rock concerts have talented then musicians. Then we come out, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes we sit backstage as it all gets going like, oh, it's like a rock concert, and we're then waiting for a rock concert to start. <laughs> but obviously so is everybody else and we have to come out and do something. You know, with famous rock groups, there's always, you know, they have a golden era where they do a great big concert like Genesis Seconds Out and so on, and then the rock band always breaks up. Our performance is as if we've done it after the breakup. Yeah. I think. Absolutely. Yes. It's sort of... We all scrappy. pretty much hate each other, but no, we I'm mask it. Loathe. Terrible. Yeah. What is it, do you think? What is the secret of, of this programme success that you've not only got a UK tour, now you've got a world tour? Yeah, I, think I think it's the hatred. I think it's the hatred. People can see the hatred and wondering when one of us will kill one of the others. It, that's the creative tension of the exactly. whole ensemble. <laughs> it's the stretch talk between us that at any moment one of us might pick up, say, your microphone or an axe and, and <laughs> bury it in the other one. I'm trying to work out where to touch it with a pin to make it just go bang. Oh, hold on. Yes. Do you know, honestly, with no idea. No. Why people tune in? It is last of the summer gear, as it should be called now, because it's just three old men who fall over and catch fire. It That's has basically... been such a shock, because, I mean, when, when I joined, what, five years ago, six years six. ago, it was a job, and a job I'd always wanted, and I was very, very excited, but it wasn't supposed to be a career and then become this. It's just gone berserk, and we're... Yeah. We just keep trundling on. I have to say, um, I didn't join until Series 2, and prior to that, it was really terrible. Mm. Yeah. You've got lots more women watching now, haven't you? I'm a 41-year-old mother of three. I never used to watch Top Gear. I watch Top You're Gear now. 41. I've just rung my childminder. She's even older than me. Who and she watches Top Gear? Have you sort of consciously gone out to get a wider audience? Well, then why else would you have him on? Yeah. Give me another good... Just think of... Right, one, women really like him. Two... Uh, run out of that's that it, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty it's much. It's my sparkling intellect. <laughs> no, we've always had a strong female following because women have always loved cars and because the programme itself isn't... Women don't nerdy. love cars. Well, so I'm saying all men love cars. People like so, people, people are like interested cars, in cars. Some of whom are men and some of whom are women. Yeah, that's just yeah. Well, I don't think... We're pretty nearly got rid of all cars from the show now. More or less. Occasionally one sneaks by, and it's, but we get it when it does. Oh, Janice, I don't know if you read the Times of the weekend, Janice Turner, yeah. one of the columnists. Superstar. Yeah, said it was a, like, a guilty pleasure watching Top Gear because it's full of things that you're not supposed to like because it's so politically correct now. We're not supposed to like cars and speeds and everything like that. And I wonder if that's maybe part of the reason why people tune in. Possibly. Do you know, it's, so you're, but there isn't any calculation here. We never sit down and go, OK, now, how can we become immensely... It's, it's, we do what we do because that's how it comes out. Am I right? I mean, it's not, it's not as though there's any careful... Calculation as to oh, yeah. right, if we do that, if we put in a bit of this, then we'll get a 50 50 audience. And we never sit around thinking how we can be politically incorrect either. I think we just are. Well, I'm not really. Well, you, you are. are a bit. Well, when you start talking about how to run things, you're terrifying, mate, yes. Yeah. No, it's. Yes. No, I was just going to say, I'll, I'll move on to the show. What can people yeah. expect? What are people going to get? Well, it's Top Gear. Only live. It's a lot of classical music. Yes, classical music. And, and then we do. Sticks. We have quite a long lecture from Jonathan Porritt about the need to protect the environment. Um, and then we do some Pamers poetry reading. James does a really good classical music thing. He does, what do you remember? You do the bark. I do the bark. And there's yeah. also some film of whales. Yeah, whale the screens at the back. No, no, wait. It's no. mostly men doing donuts. It's there's a lot of noise. There's and a, some amazing that's what stunts. It, yeah. got all wrong. Yes. Lots of no, a, It's a lot of precision driving, smoke, bangs, noise. The Stig's here doing driving that you simply wouldn't believe. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. It's sold out. It has been for weeks. But nevertheless, it's absolutely amazing to watch the driving. And then we three do some driving. That doesn't go quite so well, usually. Um, it's just the cocking about that you have on the television, only live. I've got just, just two more questions, because you're in Birmingham. I've got to ask you about Birmingham cars, Jaguar, Land Rover, Morgan. How do those... Morgan's not Birmingham. <laughs> well, He's Midlands. Birmingham. West Midlands, I know. Morgan. Yes. Well, Malvern. Um, well, I told my sister she was at school in the West Midlands. But I've got to ask you these brands, how they sort of stand up to all the other brands you like. Well, that's going to take them. a long time, isn't it, really? Jack, no, Jack and Land Rover are fantastic. I'm driving a Nissan off-road car, and we're not really an off-road, an SUV. And you're just driving along thinking, why would anybody not buy a Range Rover? 
and buy one of these. Is, it's only when you drive the opposition you realise just how good Range Rovers yeah, they are. are very good. <laughs> They're not very good. They're, they are I mean, massively just, far ahead of anything else. And the Jaguar XKR... We've decided we'll buy one this week yes. if they just do a little something for us, but we can't reveal what that is. That'll it be on the show. The yeah, I hope be, they do it. Won't Actually, no, it won't be on the show. Uh, will it? One last question. I've got Australian TV here filming me, filming you. Mm. How are you coping with all this worldwide adulation and has it gone to We your haven't head? noticed it. We're just standing Where there and talking to you. It doesn't make any difference. Yeah. No, oh, we're, yeah. sort of, we're taking this show on after Birmingham um, to... Double. Yeah, to Ireland, and then it's South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, and there's lots of other places wanted as well, because Top Gear is now a bona fide export success. I mean, it is a, a money spinner, you know, it's something about which you might not like it, but you can be proud of it, because it does do, it is, we're not, we're, we might not have much of a car industry left, but we've got a good car programme, so. It's what Lord yeah. Young used to say is good for UK PLC. Yes. In about 1987. Yes. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. All the very My best. My pleasure. Thank Thanks.